It's a good entry. I wish I could use that one. Why can't you? And then the genius begins after that. When Chris Withington and Rodney Evans, two relatively unknown filmmakers, died under tragic yet zany circumstances on March the 7th, 2001, they were to obtain just a fleeting moment of minor celebrity. Sadly, today marks the 10th anniversary of their deaths, but not the end of the legacy they left behind. For although Chris and Rod's movies never quite made it to the mainstream, or indeed to any significant audience at all, they did not escape the attention of two impressionable teenagers. And now, possibly the only people ever to find any value in the small body of work Chris and Rod left behind, the duo are taking on the challenge of carrying on the legacy. Their mission? Stephen Gary too. Hey, so, what did the original Stephen Gary movie mean to you? The turning point in my life was, was seeing that film, you know. I went over to Botswana and helped a, a mission there uh, wow. by, uh, you know, fighting off uh, local pumas and, and emus and that sort of thing, uh, keeping the villages safe, helping to uh, provide for the community there. And I mean, Chris and Rod put their lives on the line for that, for that film, Stephen Garrett. Have you gone through a similar journey yourself? Yeah. You drove an ice cream truck for a little while. That was actually before I saw it. It was um, um, part of your community service. Yeah, I, I brought joy to the kids. Um, I charged them for it, but uh, they were low. They were crazy low prices. But it's not quite the same as you know fending off pumas and you know, crazy. No, pumas. actually, what the movie did for me uh, beyond the ice cream van uh, was it actually inspired me to invent Facebook. That was that year. Um, oh right. And yeah, it was. It was. You know, Wasn't well that Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg. Mine's Facebook.org. Um, what I did, I think, that, that differs from Zucker, um, who's a good friend of mine, <laughs> I went with a, a deep red instead of the blue. Could have just as easily caught on, um, yeah, didn't. Yeah. You, um, you came to me with uh, with Moave first, didn't you? Maroon was a possibility, but uh, we went with the red, and, and I've been told since uh, that uh, in advertising that inspires anger, frustration. Um, it's true. Yeah. Rejection. Blood. Yeah, menstruation. There's been scientific studies into the effects um, of colour on psychology. Yeah, well, I didn't read those. Mm. Uh, Zucker and I have spoken about it, and uh, I meet you with him. Uh, you weren't friends for a long time, were you? We had a bit of feud. Um, I, to be honest, I'm not sure why I didn't make it into that social network movie because I was an important part of his mm. early life. Um, look, I, look, I don't begrudge uh, Zucky his success. Yeah. I do begrudge him my lack of success, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. But you're you're on this journey now. You're on this. You're. On hey, this. would you have traded dreams. that for? Yeah. Owning Facebook. Oh yeah, because he's made a shitload off it, hasn't he? Yeah, he's made. It. Yeah, I wouldn't have to work. You know, I think, uh, in some sense, that film is the thing that died when Chris and Rob died. I think they were just so inspirational and. Uh, Despite the tragic loss to their families, it's been a loss to humanity, to people. They just contributed so much. You know, after spending my time with, with the mission, I thought coming back here, um, the only thing I could think of was making a movie, and the best movie I could think of was making Stephen Gary too. Face off. Face off, yeah. I mean, a lot of actors don't get the plastic surgery, and I think they're selling themselves short. If you get the surgery, you look the part. Yeah. You are the character. He actually specialises in repeat treatments, um, and he has a technology which actually inserts a. It's not a zipper, but it's a similar thing, and uh, I can zip my face off. Uh, whenever I need yeah. to and put a new playing, one on. He's always yeah. playing jokes so, and stuff on set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's, I, I, I'm Turning not going to do it now. Like, uh, you know, Pierce Brosnan. And it's very good when you get a role uh, that uh, involves zombies. But let me ask you something. When you see Robert De Niro in a film, mm. do you see the character or do you see Robert De Niro? 
a civic I, character. I, I see Robert De Niro. Yeah, even sometimes yeah. when uh, Dustin Hoffman's on the screen, I see De Niro, which is, it's. I mean, that's obviously a psychological condition mm. I have to deal with, but um, it's still seeing Dustin Hoffman as Robert De Niro, which is just as distracting. But do you think you went along the same journey that, that Chris and Ron did? Very deliberately, making? very deliberately, yeah. We were very careful to um, to study what they were like as real people and follow mm. their lives, you know, to the to the exact, you know, to the extent of we even moved to Box Hill for a little while. Yeah, ten years. Um, mm. To be honest, it uh, it frustrates me uh, to see actors so half-assed yeah. and just not throwing themselves into their. Into they're their they're craft. really not giving mm. a you know a hundred percent to the art form. It's mm. it's lazy to just look like yourself. It's mm. it's lazy yeah. to not move to an area for 10 years. It's it's lazy, it's just lazy. I mean, that's why I had to go and, you know, change my name to the, to the character's name. He changed his name for the purposes of the film. I'm sure he told you about yeah, that. Yeah, he did. He is a method actor. I, I chose not to change my name because um, I think it's stupid. I just think it's the dumbest thing ever. I mean, I wanted to pay that much of a homage to that, yeah. to that writing and that character. I mean, who, who else would do that? Well, very few people. That's right. Guess. That's right. I mean, maybe, maybe no one. I, I'd say no one. I'd say no one. I say I'm a pioneer in that in that regard. Like, you know, this is the, the journey. This is the journey you go on when you when you're creating magic in films. We're like the same person, really. We're yin and yang, yeah. two sides of the same coin. I don't do anything without him. If, if he hasn't, uh, you know, if he hasn't approved anything, I won't. I won't go forward with it. He's heads, I'm tails. But if I need to be tails, I could be tails too. We feed off each other. We need each other. Mm. And I think Chris and Rod also needed each other just the same. Uh, I try not to judge people on on their actions. More than, it's more their intentions. He's got good intentions. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think I would wake up in the morning at all without Steve. Uh, he, he was there. He was there. He, he helped out. He was, he, was, he was a good help. Are we done? What? Are we done drinking? Uh, well, this is our local pizza shop. We've got a good, oh, right. um, good relationship with these guys. Okay. As you can see, they've uh, built a special table out here for us. This is, this is just for you guys. It's reserved just for us. They're going to put a yeah. special plaque here. Um, wow. Just, just commemorative. It's just, it's just one of the perks of, of being a, yeah. a film star. Yeah, yeah. Other perks: um, priority uh, uh, boarding uh, in, in airplanes. Um, Discounts at the supermarket. True. Six videos for the price of five. Yeah, but they, they know yeah. us and they refer to us by point. No questions asked. No questions asked. Yeah. Because of the celebrity. Um, Martin, I've, I've actually got to go. Uh, I've got to oh, hit the okay. road because I've got a prior engagement. All right. No worries. We'll I'll, catch I'll you later. I'll give you a call though, all right? I'm going to change the song so it plays Green Sleeves because you suggested that last week. That's a good idea. I do like Green Sleeves. Everyone knows that one. Dang 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 dang. Yeah, the actual tunes, you know, much more melodic than that, but 